today is March 1st. We're three months into the new year. The, the game dropped in November of last year. So we're, we're over three months now into its lifespan. And these problems and these issues that I first saw with the, when the game first came out are still here, right? Now, what do I mean by problems and issues? To understand where I'm coming from and where my mind is at, you guys have to understand who I am as a Call of Duty player. And for those of you who may not know, I love to snipe. Sniping is my bread and butter in the game. It's what makes me happy in the game, right? Um, that's what gives me like that fulfillment. Oh my God, bro, don't touch me. And so enjoying sniping, it's kind of been what I enjoyed from the beginning of COD back in Modern Warfare 2. For me, it was more like around Black Ops 1. That was my first Call of Duty that I was able to buy and I had my own PlayStation. I didn't just play at my friend's house anymore because during Modern Warfare 2, I would only be able to play COD if I went to my friend's house. It was my best friend. We played like Spec Ops together. And that was really like the time that made Call of Duty Im imprinted or ingrained into my brain. Like, yo, this is fun. And before that, my only experience with shooter games was when I was like five years old, I played Counter-Strike. Um, I lived in Turkey with my dad and he would, I would beg for him to give me some money, right? It, it would be like, like 50 cents for half an hour and a dollar for an hour. And I would go in there and there was, there was always like a land party in this uh, cafe or diner, whatever you want to call it. And people were playing Counter-Strike. And that's kind of how I fell in love with first person shooter games. Now, Warzone comes around in 2020, and around September was when I bought a PS4, and I decided, bro, I need to get back into gaming. Um, before that, I played, the last COD I played was uh, Advanced Warfare, and that was when I was making a lot of Call of Duty content on YouTube. You could look back through my YouTube videos that are much, much older, and you'll see some Black Ops 2, some Advanced Warfare, um, I think some COD Ghosts as well. So nonetheless, that's when I fell in love with it. And I came back to Call of Duty in Warzone during the time of Warzone. It was a free to play game. Um, I kind of wanted a PS4 to watch Netflix. And I had a lot of free time because I had this full time job and I needed something to do to just get my mind off of my day. And gaming, gaming just felt right at home with that. So that's what I started to do, man. And it took until like November of 20 2020 before I started making live streams and videos on the game and i was already really working to become a youtuber full time and there was there was a lot that i was that i was doing with vlogs um i took all of them down now they're not on the channel but i made like i think five or six vlogs and i was starting to jump into that and get comfortable with vlogging and the amount of time i was spending playing games i didn't have enough time to vlog and i honestly didn't have a lot of good ideas for vlogging which is how we come to me streaming. Let me change the song. I need some, I need, I need, I need the mellow vibes today, bro. So I decided, you know what, let me, let me start streaming. And you know, I'm playing this game all day anyway, almost right. I'm playing like five hours a day, six hours a day. I'm hooked. I'm addicted. I had just started using like the, the HDR and the SPR. Cause I was, I was a new bro. I didn't know what slide canceling was even though people were already doing it. There was a lot that I didn't know about the game, but I was having fun figuring it out and just playing it. Um, and at this time, it's already past the pandemic. So I don't know about you guys and where you were during 2020. Um, it was a crazy year. But for me in September, we were already past all the lockdowns and the restrictions. So no one was really forced to stay at home, but it felt like most of the people who were playing video games during the lockdown they were still playing video games after the lockdown because it felt, how do I say, normal or just part of their day. And so I started streaming and I fell in love with it um, and decided to do it more and more. And then I was like, bro, I got to make videos and really try to grow an audience here and see where I could take this. This could I could still get back to vlogging later on in my life um, if I choose to. But sniping felt really good. The game felt really good. The gunfights, the the maneuverability, all that. Warzone 1 was great. Now, coming into Warzone 2, the one-shot sniping is something that Call of Duty has made very clear that they don't want in their game. I don't know what 
their reasoning is. I don't know why they chose that, but they decided that sniping one shot kill snipers aren't a part of Call of Duty anymore. Now, I don't know when they're going to get added back into Warzone. And in multiplayer, granted, sniping is still very much alive. You can quick scope, you can you can get like three kills with one bullet. So that aspect of multiplayer is definitely alive. But as far as Warzone goes, they made it very clear that sniping should be a two shot kill at, at the very minimum. And I'm going to I'm going to switch over to Twitter here so I can show you guys right here. Yeah, season two patch notes. Um, I think this is like a week after the new season. It says bug fixes fix an issue that caused the correct combination of attachments with incendiary rounds to allow sniper rifles to down players in a single shot. So in the eyes of the devs and in the eyes of Call of Duty, this is literally a glitch. Like this is something that they didn't intend on putting in the game. It wasn't like, yes, let's bring back snipers, but they have to use this attachment. It's going to be this fine-tuned thing it was kind of like an accident where they they didn't want it to happen but it did and so they they fixed it a week after and that week was super fun bro in that week i had a lot of fun playing the game it was one shot sniping was back i was i was back at it but now that they've taken that out it's really opened my eyes to where we're at in cod now coming back to the first point and the real point of this stream and this video is the real problem with Call of Duty. I think when you boil it all down, there's a multiple, there's a multitude of factors that brought us to this point. One thing I want to say, this is not because of less viewership, okay? Some people are saying the game's getting less viewership, so everyone's complaining. That's not the case. See, for for a game to get viewership, it has to be fun to play. So if you're not spending time playing this game, you're not going to watch someone who's playing it, right? I mean, if I don't play 2K, I'm not going to watch a 2K streamer. That's just that's just how it goes. Now, if I do play 2K and I, you know, I'm scrolling on YouTube and I see this 2K streamer, I click on his uh, stream just to see what's going on. You know, he says his title might say the number one 2K player in the world. So I'm like, oh, shit, I play 2K. This guy's number one. Let me see. Let me see what he what he's looking like. I click and I might watch for 5, 10, 20 minutes because he might be scoring three pointers or he just might be super twisted. He wins like three games in a row and I keep watching. And it's because I'm learning something from his style or from his skill. And I'm also getting a little bit of entertainment. That's kind of how the viewership in my eyes, that's how the viewership goes with video games, whether it's Call of Duty, Valorant, CSGO, you name it. That's how the viewership is going to be. And so... When you boil that down and you take away the skill gap of the game, right? A lot of people don't like slide canceling and it's been taken out. And I'm going to talk about slide canceling here real quick from my perspective, all right? When I first started playing the first Warzone, I didn't know what slide canceling was. And this is in September. People were already slide canceling. It's like six months into the release of the game. So people knew what slide canceling was and there was a lot of people using it. But I didn't. And it took maybe six months to a year before I knew how to slide cancel and I was using it like very often. Right. So for me, it's not the fact that you can't slide cancel, because like I said, I, I didn't love slide canceling in the first place. But with slide canceling, there came a little bit of maneuverability, a little bit of outplay ability is the, is the best word to put it. You could outplay your opponent in a way where you use some sort of skill, some sort of moves that you're better at using than they are. They can't really keep up with where you're moving on their screen because of your movement. Now, they've taken that out and they haven't really put anything back in this pot where you can maneuver and outplay people, right? We have drill charges and we have like flashbangs, which are OP and, I, and you could use those, granted, to outplay people, but it's mostly just holding an angle and holding a corner, right? And if as soon as the guy peeks, if you're the first one shooting him, most likely you're going to win. That's how the gunfights go in this game, whether you want to admit it or not. Yes, you could be smart about repositioning yourself in a gunfight. And that is a skill gap in itself. Hitting your shots is also a skill gap in itself. But the outplayability and the lack of it is what I think is one of the main problems in this game. So when you when you have that and then no one can really outplay each other, 
What ends up happening over time is there's no differentiating between gunfights. In six hours, you play about 20 different matches, and every single game looks almost identical to one another. The gunfight situations that you're in are almost identical. I think that's one of the biggest problems, because when you watch another streamer, or if you're watching me, who I, I don't think I'm anywhere near the top 10 or the top 20 best players on Warzone, and then you go and watch the best player on Warzone, you should be able to tell, okay, Dib was moving like this, but this guy is moving like that. Or Dib hits his shots like this, but that guy, the, the number one player, hits his shot like that, and that's what makes him the best. But in this game, there isn't, it's not noticeable. There's not a lot. And so you, we reach this point where everything is kind of the same. Whether you're watching Joe Woe or you're watching uh, Jon Snow, the game looks the same. Everyone's using an AR, they're pre-aiming, and they're trying to hit the first shot, which is fine, bro. Um, if Call of Duty wants to take that step, I'm not completely bashing the style of the game. If you're good at Warzone 2 and you weren't the best at Warzone 1, all props to you, man. All props. Where I'm coming from is the game isn't fun anymore. Back on Verdansk or back on Rebirth, and I, I hate to be this guy who says the old game was better or those were the good old days and these aren't the good old days. But truly, when I played Verdansk or I played Rebirth, by the end of the game, whether I won or lost, I had some fun. There was, there were some moments where I felt like I could pop off or I felt like I was popping off. But in this game, whether you get a triple kill or a quad kill, it really doesn't matter. Like it really doesn't feel satisfying to get that quad kill. It might just be me, bro. I don't know how you guys feel about this. I would, I would love to know in, in chat if you guys want to tell me or if you uh are watching this later and you want to leave a comment but there's just no no good feeling about winning versus losing it it almost is the same of course when you win it feels like nice we did that shit ggs but like fucking there isn't a whole lot of great feeling bro to frying on this game and it, it like i said it might it might just be me okay so so for me sniping isn't possible right on this game i don't want to say it's impossible but it's not fun it's definitely not fun to snipe on this game and with call of duty my biggest fun factor was sniping it, it goes sniping getting multiple kills getting multi kills and then maybe winning goes under that that's that's my like levels of fun that i have now if i can't snipe and they want to make sniping the most i don't want to say difficult because it's not like completely difficult but it's it's not satisfying it, it doesn't feel crisp and good to hit that snipe. It feels like a chore when you're sniping. Or it feels like you're defying all physics of the game when you're trying to snipe. And I think that, that just brings me back to the fun factor not being existent anymore. On Warzone 1, even when they banned the snipers, or they didn't ban them, but they, they nerfed the snipers, I still had a lot of different things that I could do. Like you could do only using riot shields and knives. You could do SMGs only. Like build a long range SMG and a short range SMG. And you could kind of get away with that. You're not going to win every single game playing in your play style, but there was multiple different play styles for you to take. And I've heard many different people talk about this. One person is Lucky Lucky Chamu. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but he talks about it all the time on Twitter. I've heard him talk about it on podcasts. He, he really explains it well, where during COD Next, which I'm sure you guys have seen me play the trailer for, where the guy is like, we want you to have fun. And this is about having fun in your play style. So let's have fun. However you play, whether you're a camper or a slayer. Where he's where he's talking about all that. That's that's when they revealed the game to everybody, the entire world. Comes back to fun. And that, that was when they kind of talked about how they want you to be able to play different play styles, whether you like to rush or you like to camp. Whether you're a hardcore player or a casual player. Whatever your play style is, we, we're accommodating it to you. So I was thinking... If I want to use a riot shield and stuns and, you know, go only use me blade, I could do that. If I want to snipe, I could do that. And it'll be fun to do. But like I said, man, when I when I play this game for 9, 10 hours on end, it's not fun. I've, I've noticed it. My friends that I play with are what make it fun. And on top of that, it's you guys. And that, that just makes me think, like, for the average Joe... 
or maybe not even the average Joe, but the average Call of Duty lover, for them to come home and play this game for three hours straight is almost a non-factor. It's just not going to happen. And you guys tell me, man, let me know. If you, if you play this game, but you don't make content, but you play it for three hours a day, every single day, and you have fun during those three hours, please let me know. Because I think the number of people doing that is going down significantly. Even, even with ranked mode, even with Ashika Island coming out, even like with all the great changes we've had, there's still no like fun factor that gets you to go in and play. Like on Rebirth, even if I was solo, I would have fun. Even if I had no one to play with, I would get on, start a stream, and I had fun just working my way around the lobby, trying to get a 20 bomb, um, trying to hit some snipes. Maybe I went for a crazy 360. It was it was just more fun to be involved in that world. I don't know about you, but it doesn't feel as fun playing quads, trios anymore because it feels like fighting a whole squad is a huge challenge instead of something that can be accomplished if you're skilled. Solos is the only way I can play the way I want to. That's true, bro. I've, I've noticed if I play solos, I'll have a lot more fun on Almazra. They, I think they took that away on uh, Ashika, but I feel that too. And I don't, I don't know, man. It's, it's like if I play solos, I could play for maybe two hours, three hours, but then after that, like, I just, I just don't see anyone, even myself, playing the game for six, seven hours on end and having fun. Where on Rebirth, whether you're a content creator or not, you were doing that. You were playing for six, seven hours. Guaranteed. I know many people who don't make content who played with me during my streams and they were they were doing their own thing They didn't have to be there. You know what I'm saying? They were just do, they were just having fun playing the game and I feel like that vibe has been killed. That's why the, the views are going down and you see people complaining about less viewership or the, the player count has gone down and you see people complain now One thing I have to say while making this stream in this video. I'm not doing this because my views are down I've been very fortunate where I've been I've been on this like uphill curve, right? And when Warzone 2 came out, my content only got better. I'm getting more views per video than I ever have in my life. So you could you could see how I should be motivated to keep making content, even if the game is complete dog shit. I should be I should be motivated. For me, I could put my head down, just keep keep creating content and get get the views. Right and get gain gain some more subscribers, have a flourishing and thriving channel and all that good stuff that creators love. But man, it's it just doesn't hit the same when you don't love it, bro. Like I used to hit a clip on Rebirth, and I would I couldn't wait until I made it a short just to see what people think. Like because I thought I did something really good, like something really impressive. But on on this game, it doesn't. Like anyone I watch, it doesn't feel impressive, bro. It it just doesn't. It doesn't feel like you're watching something impressive. It just feels like, oh, I could have done that if like I kind of got lucky or if I didn't lag. And the lag is something, Max, you brought that up earlier, bro. And I still haven't even talked about that. But the lag is one of the biggest uh, downfalls of the game. It's super, super inconsistent. I'm about to show you guys a little example too of lag, okay? All right, look at look at the ping here. I just want you guys to keep your eyes on this ping, right? We got 94 ping. And it's going to it's going to go up. And the, I titled this clip Where do I get a VPN because I feel like I need one at this point, man. Entered the safe zone. My ping just went up to 300. Enemy soldier look, did you guys see that delay? Did you guys see that, bro? I shot and I switched weapons before I got my hit marker. We're gonna play it again. Enemy like, dude. Holy like, bro. Lag. Okay. Yo, I'm doing this in this type of condition with the lag. Oh, thank you, thank you. Halfway through this gunfight, I'm at like 300 ping. I have fiber internet, bro. Like. I have a thousand megabytes download speed and a thousand megabytes upload speed. And that's like the best internet you could possibly have. Like there's, there's no, there's no, I can't do anything to upgrade. I could upgrade my PC, but that's not going to fix internet problems. And I, as far as my internet service provider goes, I have no internet problems. I called AT&T. They were like, yo, 
On our end, you're looking good, Bubba. You're all good. Keep keep grinding. Do your thing. I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep grinding. But look, man, I'm I'm fed up. I wanted to get on today and make a stream and just do what I can to give you guys the best show possible and the best viewing experience possible. But it's like I gotta find something that I have fun doing. I I can't chase 20 bombs and 40 bombs on a Sheikah. I don't I don't enjoy the gunplay of the game. I don't want to aim down and wait for someone to peek me. I want to jump and ego chow them every single time. And if I lag halfway through my ego chow, it, it just kills my buzz, bro. It kills that that itch. And I I don't I I'm at a loss for words. I don't know how to feel or what to do, bro. Like I enjoyed multiplayer and ranked way more because the latency is actually good. The battle royale servers seem like they can't handle the game. See, and that that might be that might be a thing too, man. I don't know, but that's that's about that's about where I'm at, man. I feel like a lot of creators are unhappy because the viewership is low, and the reason it's low, for a broad standpoint, is like I said, for my channel, I've been lucky enough to be on this uphill curve, and my content's only gotten better since before the game came out. So my views are up. I'm getting more views per video than I ever have. But viewership for this game is low because I feel like no one's playing the game. No, if, if you don't play the game, you're not going to want to watch it. Like I said earlier. And I think that's one of the biggest problems with the game is the interest to play it. The interest to grind it is not there anymore. And us gamers, we have a very instant satisfaction thing where... If it's ass for three games in a row, I'm done. I'm fed up. I'm not going to sit here and try to, like, enjoy this lag or enjoy the... I mean, I, I don't even know, bro. And I, I agree with that 100%. And Resurgence is good. Like, Ashika Island is a beautiful map. I think it plays really well with the system of this game. Like, the, there's so many zips and different ways to mantle and get in different places and outplay people which is beautiful. They they did a really good job with the map. I love it. One of the biggest reasons I, I haven't made this video up until now is because of the fact that so many people have talked about it and I, I felt like it was oversaturated. But now I, I actually feel like my perspective is very unique and you guys can actually benefit from hearing this, man. Um, but yeah, we have a fast TTK and we have slow movement. The ADS time... The time it takes for you to aim down your sights is so much slower than the previous game. And in a lot of cases, it takes longer for you to start aiming than it does for you to die. So if you're getting shot, you're dead before you can even aim, bro. It's, it's, it's hard to even think about. I promise you guys, if, if snipers could one-shot... I would not, I probably wouldn't make this video. I would just deal with it because it almost makes the rest of it worth it for me. Being able to ego chow somebody with a sniper and as long as you're accurate enough and you hit that headshot, they go down. That makes the rest of the game worth it. The lag, the inconsistencies, the SBMM hit registration and the SBMM damage and all that other bullshit is out of the window when you're able to do that. But when they take snipers out and they make it very clear they don't want snipers, then it makes it hard to deal with all this other shit too, man. And I don't know. I'm I'm one of those people. We're all different, but I cannot enjoy using a RAL or using ARs on Ashika or Al Mazra and trying to beat my PR. I'll have fun with it for a day, which tomorrow. And maybe the rest of this week, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to drop my first 20 bomb on Warzone 2. Um, and I'm, I'm ready to have fun with it, but it's not something that I can grind for months. Like, after I drop a 20 or a 30, like, I don't really care to go for the 40. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it all becomes super repetitive. The way the gunfights are, they become repetitive. I talked about that earlier. And I think, I think that's where I'm at, man, with this live stream and with this explanation. That's the real problem with Warzone 2. I want to play the game, but I know by the end of the game, when I get off, I'm going to feel like shit. 
Yesterday, when I got off the game, bro, I felt like complete ass. Just to keep it straightforward with you guys. I played the game for three hours. It was like maybe two games where I wasn't lagging completely from beginning to end. And none of it felt like a good time. Where I find myself looking back to Verdansk and Rebirth. And anything I did on those games, if I spent six hours playing, didn't get a single win. I didn't even drop 10 kills in those six hours. I still had fun. That's that's kind of where I'm at, man. If they're not going to add one-shot sniping, add, add one sniper that can one-shot. I agree. I mean, if they add one sniper and that's the only sniper that can one-shot, it would be such a better game. You can't remove movement and make TTK faster and expect a fun game. Yeah, I like I like to play instinctually and fast, but this game rewards slow and tactical gameplay, which I don't think is true COD or true to COD. Bro, I, I agree. So fucking true, bro. So true. COD was always about ego challenge, quick scoping, and just straight up throwing your body on the line, throwing your body on that hard point and turning around and getting a quick kill as well. It was never about this slow together play style. Like, yes, playing as a team was fun and it rewarded you in every single Call of Duty, but it wasn't the core aspect of the game. If you had one 15th prestige guy, he might be able to carry those four other randoms or those five other randoms in a, in a headquarters. But I don't know, man. Multiplayer, I've been away from for so long that it's I, I don't even enjoy it anymore. So it's going to be hard for me to give my opinion on multiplayer. So I, I'm not going to give any more hard point or headquarter examples. But Warzone 2, man, I, I just I don't know. If someone from Call of Duty somehow ends up watching this video, if you give us one-shot snipers or... Don't give us one-shot snipers. But either way, this has to get right. The lag, the inconsistency that comes with the lag when you mantle something, but on his screen you didn't mantle it in the kill cam. You you try to mantle a wall and you die. And in your kill cam, you, you weren't even on the wall yet. You're already dead. Those inconsistencies and better gunfights. Right now, anyone, like I said earlier, whether they're a pro or an average Joe, if they're playing the game and you're watching them play it, it looks the same. It looks the exact same. The only thing that looks different is their aim. And aiming doesn't really benefit you. Like, it doesn't give you a crazy edge in this game because the TTK is so fast. If you get shot first, you're dead. So give us some sort of outplay ability. Give us something that we can do to outplay our opponent to create some level of skill gap. Because in the first Warzone, the skill gap wasn't crazy high. But it was just high enough so that the average Joe couldn't outplay the average pro. Yeah, you get where I'm going? And I think that's that's what kind of just kills it for everyone, bro. You know, anyone who's passionate about COD is not happy. And it's it's kind of killing it for them. Every every gunfight literally looks the same. If if they do that, if they give us some sort of outplay ability or make snipers one shot, I'll be happy. Now the rest of the community. The rest of the community needs outplayability, whether that comes from a higher TTK or faster movement. There's so many different ways to create that, but unless we have it, the one thing that is for certain is this game will die. Half of the gunfights that I get into on Ashika or Al Mazra, they feel like a coin flip, like a flip of the coin. If that guy didn't see me first, I'll probably win. But since he saw me first somehow on his screen, the kill cam looks completely different from what I saw on my screen. He saw me first, so he was able to win the gunfight. It feels like a like a coin flip. Like, am I? Is this guy gonna see me first? Is he behind that wall? If he is behind that wall, I'm dead without a doubt. As soon as I walk in this room, I'm dead. So, making the gunfights feel more controllable, like you actually have a choice and you actually have the power to win a gunfight. It's not like automatically. You walk in that room because that person's there and they saw you first you you lose and you die if they if they fix that then we have a solid game um but if i without the once one shot snipers i've realized i i don't have the same drive i don't feel as motivated to make content um and i kind of don't have an identity bro to be honest with you guys i'm not 
I was never looking to be the number one player on Warzone 1. I just liked making these crazy plays that you could never imagine someone doing. You would never imagine someone jumping off of top of prison, going for a 360 just to snipe someone who's flying in. You would never really imagine that. And I, when I pulled those things off, it felt not only like an accomplishment, but it felt good. And I think that's that's what made me fall in love with content in this game, um, was doing those things, posting it online, and sharing it with my friends and the world. And if I can't if I can't do that, I just don't see any point in it, man. And it's it makes me sad to think about. But either way, this is not the end of the road for us in our channel, for our community. But this might be the end of the road for COD. And I'm I'm sorry to anyone and everyone, bro. Like, I want this to work. I do, man. I've I've been I've been putting in the hours. Last night I played. After I got off stream, I played the game for like two three hours and i was messing with my settings trying to see like maybe i'm doing something wrong maybe i'm i'm lagging for the wrong reason but i couldn't i couldn't figure anything out it was like i'll play five games and on my sixth game middle of the game i'm just lagging or in the middle of a gunfight my game will stutter and i'll lose the gunfight and yes that's always been a part of cod but it's never been to this level. Like, it's never been like three, four games in a row. You're lagging. Especially with good internet. I, in the past, I had shitty internet. And that's a whole different story. But when you had good internet in the previous Call of Duties, it was crisp. It was good. You, you didn't really die because you lagged. You just died because you didn't hit your shots. Or he shot you first and he had a much stronger weapon. And GG's, you, you died. And... It's, it's sad. I don't want to end on a sad note. All I'll say is I'll see you guys later. Look out for different content. Look out for a change. And hopefully, bro, hopefully this isn't the end of me on COD. Hopefully we can get back to COD and Warzone 2 on some, on some other level. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully soon. They can maybe... I don't know what they can do, but I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they do, I'm here for it. First one here. I'm ready to see it. Ready to feel it. Ready to play the game. I liked this game before I played Warzone. Now it's bad. The lag is super annoying. I'd rather play multiplayer Warzone 2. There is something wrong about it and nothing feels right anymore. Yeah, man. When I die, the kill cam, they are lagging on their screen. They are not hitting any shots. Yeah, the kill cams never make sense, which is, again, that's what makes it so frustrating and it makes people stop playing the game, which in turn makes the game die. It's a... It's a very clear cycle too. It's it's very straightforward, man. I don't know how the devs don't don't get it or maybe they act like they don't get it. I don't know. But I appreciate you guys for being here, man. Thank you guys for pulling up to the stream and hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope Warzone 2 can get better in the future, man. I fucking love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.